we're going to be looking at derived units of the SI base units. These are the six base units from which all other units can be derived. So the derived units for area is meters squared, volume meters cubed, speed which is equal to distance travelled divided by the time taken. We'll have the units of meters per second. Acceleration, which equals the rate of change of velocity. We'll have the units of velocity divided by the units of time. So that is meters per second divided by seconds. So meters per second squared. Density, which equals mass divided by volume. So the units of density will equal the units of mass, kg, divided by the units of volume, meters cubed. So that would be kg per meters cubed. And momentum, which equals mass times velocity. So the units of momentum will equal the units of mass, kg, multiplied by the units of velocity, which is meters per second, so that is kg meters per second. Some derived units have special names which we can express in terms of SI base units by usually using equations that defines the quantity of the special unit. So the equation that we use to define the Newton is F equals MA, resultant force equals mass times acceleration. So force is measured in newtons, and a newton is equal to the unit of mass, kg, multiplied by the units of acceleration, meters per second squared. So that is, a newton is equal to kg meters per second squared. Pascal is the units for pressure and pressure is equal to force divided by area. So a pascal is equal to the units of force, newton, divided by the units of area, meters squared. So pascal is equal to newtons per meter squared. But to get pascal into SI base units, we need to substitute the newton with kg meters per second squared. So Pascal is equal to kg per meter per second squared. The Joule is units for work done and work done equals force times distance moved in the direction of force. So the Joule is equal to the units of force which is Newton multiplied by the units of distance, which is metres. So joule is equal to newton metre. To get it into SI base units, we need to substitute for the newton. So the joule is equal to kg metres squared per second squared. The watt is the unit of power, and power is equal to work done divided by time taken. So the watt is equal to the units of work done, which is joule, divided by the units of time, which is seconds. So a watt is equal to a joule per second. And if we substitute for joule to get watts into SI base units, a watt is equal to kg meters squared per second cubed. Hertz is a unit of frequency, and frequency is equal to one divided by the time period. So Hertz is equal to one divided by the units of time. So that is one divided by seconds. So a Hertz is equal to a per second. The Coulomb is the units of charge and the flow of charge is equal to current 
multiplied by the time taken. And so the coulomb is equal to the units of current, which is ampere, multiplied by the units of time, which is second. So a coulomb is equal to an ampere second. The volt is the unit for voltage or potential difference. Um, voltage is equal to work done divided by the charge flowing. So the volt is equal to the units of work done, which is joule, divided by the units of charge, which is the coulomb. So a volt is equal to a joule per coulomb. But to get the volt into SI base units, then we need to substitute the joule and the coulomb. So the joule and then the coulomb, which gives a volt is equal to kg meters squared per ampere per second cubed. And finally, the ohm, which is the units of resistance. And resistance is equal to voltage divided by current. So the ohm is equal to the units of voltage divided by the units of current, the ampere. So an ohm is equal to a volt per ampere. And to get ohms into SI base units, then we substitute for the volt. And so we can say the ohm is equal to kg meter squared per ampere squared per second cubed.